To modify an organism's genes, transplant selected genes into it from other bioorganisms. Today's most highly developed GM crops are maize, soya, rapeseed and cotton. These plants are altered to stand up better to insects and weed killer. The European Union has strict rules on genetic modification. GM soya, for example, isn't allowed to be grown in the EU. As a new member country in the bloc, Romania is struggling to conform with this. Farming is a major part of its economy. More than one out of every three Romanians works in agriculture and 11 million people, half the entire population, live in rural areas. In the past 10 years, the farmers have gone for genetically modified soya in a big way. By last year, it was cultivated on 130,000 hectares or 1,300 square kilometers. That's over now. The average surface area of a farm in Romania is not more than three hectares. This president of one of the biggest federations of farmers says the end of GM soya growing is a serious setback. The 250 euros per hectare the government will pay for reconversion is not much consolation. It's been a big blow for us economically. We were on our way to 200,000 hectares with GM soybeans. We had real advantages. We could get 4,000 kilos per hectare and with only one kind of herbicide. Production costs were slashed. When Romania got started in GM soya in 1996, American agrochemical multinationals made the most of a legal vacuum to sell their products. When Romania joined the EU this year in January, it left that void. Is it obeying the rules? Romanian ecologists say no, it isn't. Greenpeace is highly critical of the public authorities. It accuses them of foot dragging. But the Secretary of State for Agriculture insists the country's GM soya is already a thing of the past. He says the farmers will be given financial help during a transition period and speaks with confidence about verification and traceability systems set up since 2005. <laughs> Rigorous controls are based on a national registry where the growers' own declarations are recorded since the beginning and now. This includes labeling and the tracking of transportation and storage. I can assure you that at the present time, 98% of 2006 production has already been transferred to the animal food chain or is being used for the farmer's own consumption. Greenpeace says the government has lost control of GM crops. Green groups now worry that a black market in other GM crop seed could spring up and that would be throwing away a golden opportunity. We urge the Romanian government to speed up the decontamination process of genetically modified soya and ban the genetically modified maize monet 10 which poses even much higher risk than the genetically modified soya simply because it uh, raises the danger of cross-pollination of neighboring fields and the fact that Romania is today after accession the largest cultivator of maize so far only GM free in the whole Europe. Mon 810 Maze recently won authorization in Brussels. Budapest is leaning that way too. Each member state may decide for itself. Hungary and Austria are notably anti-GM, among those who fear cross-pollination from GM fields to conventional crops. More than 36 million tons of soya was imported by EU countries in 2005. It comes from the US, Brazil and Argentina, mostly genetically modified and mostly as animal feed. But the EU forbids growing it in Europe. Agriculture is a way of life for a large proportion of Romanians, but their rate of productivity is half that of the older EU members. Even though it's in the club now and is entitled to financial aid to modernize its farming, 
Brussels is starting it out at a quarter of what the other countries get. Romania has to improve its ability to compete in this sector before that amount increases, says Brussels. This is not appreciated, we hear from a former state secretary. Romanian farmers has a lower level of agriculture technologies in comparison with Western European countries and lower level of subsidies. This is a big disadvantage for us. If we are not applying biotech technologies, we have not a chance to reach the higher level of technologies. The European Parliament is aware of the problems of moving away from GM soya, we hear from a member of its Committee on Agriculture and Rural Development. We advised them not to go near soya and other GM cultures. Organic agriculture is skyrocketing in the EU. Romania has the ideal conditions for organic farming. Recent developments in the Parliament revealed the extent of division over biotechnology in agriculture in the EU. The relevant committee's report was not accepted and was sent back for further discussion. This committee member welcomed that rejection. I think it's a good thing that in the committee vote on the report it only squeaked by, with 22 voices out of 43 taking part, 15 no's, 6 abstentions. The report was biased and unclear. It was supposed to have addressed biotechnologies and instead focused exclusively on GMs. That raised fears at the parliamentary level because the writer of the report took a very favourable view of GMs. Science has a lot to do with the uncertainty about GMs in the European Commission's opinion. It's on record saying, even if no risk to human health has been demonstrated, the long-term impact of GMs on health and the environment cannot be guaranteed. Consumers in the EU can choose between GM and non-GM products, since the rules say any more than a 0.9% GM content in a food has to be mentioned on the label. There are grey areas though. Meat and dairy products from animals raised on genetically modified feed are not required to reveal this on any packaging. And the debate goes on.